Hi everyone, this is Terry. I wanted to record a video about the types of files that are created both on our machines and within the software to try to help those people understand what the file types are and how you use them. So let's first start with PES. And PES is a stitch file. If you do File Save As in your software on PE Design 11, it will save in a PES format and it'll go back to a version 8 on the PE Design 11. Let's choose Cancel. Now, what is a PM9 file? Well, let's open up a different file and let's talk about it. PM9 is created in my design center. It's created on both the Dream Machine and the Luminaire, which are two machines I have. And I suspect that that is also created on some other machines as well that Brother has, uh, perhaps some of the multi-needle ones, but I do not own those machines. So I'll talk about what I know and what I have. So when it creates this file, this is artwork. It's not a digitized stitch file until you uh, actually set it and bring it into embroidery and you save it. And when you save it on the embroidery side, on the Dream Machine, it saves it as a PHC file. When you save it on the Luminaire, it saves it as a PHX file. So I did that this morning on both of my machines, and I want to show you how to use those files once you've saved them. So let's choose File Open, and let's see what happens. Well, let's go to my USB stick, and I'm already there. You can see it, but I have to go to the B pocket, and I'll choose All File Types. When I do that, and I'll change it to those files that were modified today, so we don't look at so many, you will see that on my Dream Machine, I created this file in my Design Center, and then I saved it by setting it in embroidery and saving it to my USB stick on the, that machine, and it created a PHC file. You will notice it's an unexpected file format. That means it will not open in layout and editing. Likewise, if I chose the PM9, which was my design center, it will not open. Now let's look at the PHX. That was created on the Luminaire. After I saved the file in my design center and I set it, and, and by the way, I don't have to save it in my design center. I can just set it. But I always save on in my design center because I can always go back and edit it. Once you set it into embroidery, you can't do that. And I have a video I recorded on the machine side on the Luminaire so you can see that. And I'll be posting that later today. Okay, so now you see that that's unexpected. And if I try to open it, what's going to happen is it's not going to open. So how do I get those? Well, I can import from my file by choosing from the ribbon, Import from File. And then when I do that, I can navigate over to that folder. And you notice it has folder here. And now I have my B pocket. So there are several files. Some are PHX. Those were the ones that were created on the um, Luminaire. And then there's a PHC file that was created on my Dream Machine. Now I can double click to move it over on the screen. And let's resize it by holding down the control key because these are stitches. In fact, you'll know they're stitches by noticing the stitch tab. You also know the sewing attributes. You cannot change it unless you create this into a shape or an object. And I have that in another video. So let's go back to import and let's import the other one. And I'll just drag it over. So now I have these two different types of files. Now I can do a limited amount of things with them, but you need to realize that when you have a, a stitch file, you're going to have to convert it in order to, to do something to this file and change it from stitches. You can look at one of my other videos to see that. 
let's go and look at what happens on the um, BES4 side. So we'll go over into BES4 and let's look at file open. So if I go to file open on BES4 and I have all designs, I'm looking at my B pocket. I can see this PHC file and I can actually open it into BES4. Now you notice you did not see the PXH file and I believe I had the most recent updates because my software updates whenever I started on the machine. So Brother is going to have to add an update if, uh, if they intend for us to be able to open those PHX files from the Luminaire. I tried importing, I've tried it a couple of different ways and I could not import it from the Luminaire into BES4. If someone knows a way of doing that, please comment on this video and we would be happy to hear your comments and I can update this video. So I hope this information was helpful for you. There will be a separate video, as I mentioned, that will be on the machine side, and it'll show when these files are created. Thank you, and have a great day.